If you're still creating documents manually inside of your business, I'm here to tell you there's a much easier and faster way to do it. In this video, we're going to be going through a complex five-step zap set up to create documents automatically from Airtable in WebMerge, and then we're going to save those documents back to our CRM and push them out in an email to our clients and prospects. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Gareth Pronovost and I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we build automated solutions using Airtable and Zapier, along with some other softwares. Now in this video, as I said, we're going to be going into this new software that we've just found called WebMerge. This is a game changer for us. It saves us internally about half an hour per day. So on average, I would say we're saving a good 10 hours per month just thanks to this one simple automation that I'm going to be showing you. So without further ado, let's jump on into my screen here. So we've got a couple of different windows open. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to be working out of WebMerge and setting up a document inside of here. From there, we're going to go into Airtable and, uh, and work with a, a really uh, high level CRM example. And then we're going to build this or go into the details of how we built an automation using Zapier. And then lastly, of course, we're going to jump into email and actually receive these proposals. So let's get started back in WebMerge. So first things first, you need to set up the document. Now in this case, let me go ahead and uh, bring up a new document here. We've got a document saved inside of uh, this example in Word. Now uh, speaking to WebMerge, they said that most people who do uh, use their software, they actually start from Word. So if you've got a document in Word, perfect. Now a couple things to note here. Your formatting, your font size, your font type, all of that is going to hold true when you send that automation through WebMerge. So all of your formatting can just be done inside of your Word template and then you can update that, uh, that file inside of WebMerge. And the big thing that we're looking for here is uh, you know, some dynamic uh, results, right? So that each document that goes out is created, is customized for each recipient. And so uh, in this example, we've included a couple of different fields that are gonna get merged with data from Airtable. And the way that we denote that is by using the squiggly bracket and a dollar sign and then giving this field a name. Now you can use this same field name multiple times throughout your document and it will update with that merge field every time. In this case, we have a client name, we have a consultation date, we have a quoted amount. You'll also notice that there's a dollar sign in front of this. So we're gonna bring in a dollar sign and then put in an amount. And then of course, we also are gonna bring in a phone number. All right, so once we have this set up the way we like it, we then jump into uh, WebMerge and inside of WebMerge, we're going to uh, establish that document. Now you'll see that I already have it set up in test mode, but if you were starting from scratch, you would just select a new document, you would give it a name, and then you would upload your file here, whether it's uh, you're building your own using a fillable PDF or you're doing something out of uh, Microsoft Office. So once we have that set up, we're gonna jump into it here and you'll see that we then have uh, you know, a couple of different options. We can always update this file. Uh, we can uh, determine how it's gonna be output. Is it output in a Word doc, a PDF, a JPEG? And what kind of name do we wanna give that file? What's our time zone? And then once you're finished testing it, you'll wanna set that to active. And that's all here inside of your uh, customized settings for this document. Moving on past that, you're gonna have uh, you know, some you know, fake dummy data that you're tossing through for now, and, uh, and then a delivery mechanism. Now our delivery mechanism for this example is going to be uh, delivered via Zapier, so I'm not setting up a delivery mechanism in WebMerge here. That's as far as I wanna go with this document inside of WebMerge, and now we're gonna jump into Airtable and see how we're gonna set up these different things. So the idea here is that we've got uh, some different status, uh, settings and when we select send proposal we want to create this document right and so we're going to build all of this in Zapier and that document's going to be updated with a date of consultation with a dollar amount here with a phone number and uh, of course with the name of the uh, prospective client and so those are the fields that we have to build inside of Airtable and then of course we want to send the document back to Airtable which is why we have this attachment field and we're also gonna send it to them via email, which is why we have an email field. 
In this case, I just have the email set up to my own personal email so that uh, all of the documents that we create, we can test uh, internally first. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into Zapier and this is where the magic really starts to happen. So the first thing we need to determine is what our trigger is for this Zap. And in this case, we need a new record in a view. So jumping back to Airtable, we have a view that's specifically called send proposal, where we have applied a filter that the status must be send proposal. So when we change a status from pending consultation to send proposal, which is the next stage in the uh, evolution here, then that record will appear in the new view and that will trigger the automation. The next thing here is a formatting. So you'll see that when we bring in our numbers, uh, in this case, we're bringing in a dollar amount and it, it although in Airtable, it looks like $4,500 and zero cents, it does not come across that way uh, when we bring that data in. And so very often we'll need to reformat that data before we merge it with our document. And in this case, we're just going to reformat this to, uh, to actually using uh, dollars and cents. And then next, we're going to actually create that document. So here is where if we go into the web merge, we select that we want to create a document merge as the uh, action step here. And then we you know, set up our web merge account. And here's where we edit the template. So we find the document name that we've, that we've given that. So if I jump back into web merge, you'll see when we click on our documents that we're using the web merge example for this uh, video. And so that's the document that I want to send to or that I want to uh, select here. I'm going to download this file because as I mentioned, we're going to send this via email and we're also going to be uh, keeping it internally in our CRM. And then this is where we merge the different tags with that web merge document. So in this case, we're bringing in the client name, the consultation date, the dollar amount, and phone number. Now, many of these data points are just coming straight from Airtable, which we found in step one, which is the trigger of the event. But in the case where we have to do any formatting, then we need to make sure that we're pointing to the appropriate uh, uh, step in our automation. So moving on from here, the uh, fourth step will be to send that document back into our Airtable base. And so what we've done is we are using the same record that triggered the event. So we're updating that record and we are going to update it with the document that is created inside of uh, the third step. So if we can find that, we're just taking the document uh, and, and updating that information. And that will send the document back to our Airtable database. And then lastly, we're going to send out an email in our fifth step and we're going to send it to the email that is again uh, from that record in step one and we can give it whatever subject we require here's your example document and then we are going to attach that document from step three the document we created and it's going to be attached inside that email so i realize that's a lot but let's go ahead and rewind uh, from a high level and just test this all out so let's jump back into our dashboard and we're going to go to our proposal uh, example here inside of Airtable and we're going to shift the status from pending consultation to send proposal. When we do that, then that new record appears here, Sherwin Lamond, and as you see, then the zap is set to trigger. So we need to wait 5 to 15 minutes for the zap to trigger. Let's save some time and run it manually. You'll see it located that new record, it looked for the record, it found the new record, it formatted the new number. We have to give it just a moment longer than usual. The web merge takes a bit more time. And there we have it. It's created that new document. It updated the uh, Airtable record and then it sent to Gmail. So, or sent from Gmail. So let's go ahead and close this out and take a look. If we jump into our uh, Airtable database, we have that new document here. We can click on it and look at it ourselves and check that this is accurate. So yes, Sherwin Lamond is the name of this record. We have a consultation date of uh, March 2nd, 2019. You could, of course, uh, change the formatting here if you wanted it to be a little better. The dollar amount came through nicely and a phone number came through nicely. Let's go ahead and close that. And you see that that's all of the data that's associated with this specific record. And so thereby proving to us that we can in fact merge uh, the accurate data. And then lastly, let's jump into that email and see what that new email looks like. So here it updated with uh, the person's name 
and sent this uh, document and you'll see that that is the same document here that has been attached. So all in all, successful uh, trial run and it's looking great. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe. Make sure that you don't miss out on future Airtable content. If there's anything we can do to help you by building some custom solutions for you, definitely swing by our website and check it out. We also have a lot of free resources there if you're just getting started. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.